Welcome to Selangor, Mongolia. This is Musette. Fun fact, my great-great maternal grandmother comes from Mongolia. I'm doing a quick video on how to nail a unique Siberian diamond using a mouse walking lure, the pip squeak way. <laughs> Usually, I use a 12 aught offset hook with the X-Series Nymph and spod the feeder fish to grow oversized timing. But today, I just need to finish that darn mouse lure mission. You know the one. Since I'm not spotting the feeder fish, I'll do something even weirder to test the fishing system in Selengo. To take the most advantage of walking retrieval, plan a long path over the deepest part of the time in school spawning region, either by boat or on shore. In this case, I'll be anchored on a Congo boat so I can show you all where the deep region is via the onboard sonar map. Next, load your heaviest match rod with an oversized 40 knot hook and large minnow with a leader depth between 100 to 120 centimeters. You shouldn't be able to hook a timon with such a big hook, but occasionally you might. The purpose of this match rod setup is to track the spawn time of the time in school. Of course, you can both spin cast and float rod at the same time if you are EXPing on time in. I don't know if a 42 knot feeler hook is encouraging a fatter fish school vector at this point. More data is needed in different hook sizes and leader depth when using a match rod feeler. Besides, I'm more interested in spawning a 35 kg plus timon to fulfill one of the conditions of the mouse lure mission. Next, Make sure you are close to a peak fishing time. Fast forward your time as needed. Cast the match rod close to your marker or central part of the deep area. Cast the 7 dot mouse lure just past the match float. Wait for activity on the float. Time in will also create highly animated rise rings around the float when they nibble. This is when you begin a slow retrieval. Keep the tip of the rod as high as possible into a double twitch, then dip down to look at the lure. Pause briefly. I 
Hi ya! Silly salmon took the lure too soon! <sighs> this round, the time and attack the lure before I could achieve three pips. Let's try again, shall we? Waiting for activity on the float to begin the retrieval process again. Patience is a virtue as you are more likely to snag a regular time in if your timing is off. Repeating the retrieval process to ding three pips on walking the mouse lure. When this happens, keep the slow retrieval pace even if you don't retain three pips. The first three pips should have been enough to convince the fishing AI to create a unique or trophy in the school.
Um, don't mind me. I have something in the neighborhood of eight Polynesian and Asian ethnicities in my Hawaiian tree. I tend to get excited in languages outside of vanilla English. I hope you all had fun. Please treat each other with kindness and aloha.